Harry Stewart is here, Vice President of Mortgage Lending, one of my favorite people on the planet. Hello, Harry. Hey, what's up, Scott? How's I'm fine. Going? Oh, I'm just looking outside my WJO studios about 150 yards from where oh. you're sitting if you're in Crest Hill this morning. And it's snowing, my oh. friend. How about that? I- I am. I, I can see the same snow you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is snowing, but uh, hey, that's okay. We have some really cool stuff to talk about here today. Uh, we're going to be talking about home maintenance and project tips. Got a couple of uh, notes of business I need to take care of. First, at the end of the show, we're going to give you a chance to win a $25 Visa gift card compliment of Newmark Credit Union. What we will do is we're going to listen to Harry and our guest here today. And they're going to give us a little piece of valuable information. They'll give us a lot of valuable information, but I'm going to take one piece and ask you to answer a question that has to do with that piece of information that they give us. And if you're the first caller on the Turk Furniture Studio line at 815-254-7300, uh, call me and correctly answer the question, and I'm going to hook you up with the $25 Visa gift card compliments of Newmark Credit Union. And I also want to tell you that you can dream bigger during Newmark Credit Union's home improvement sale for a limited time, enjoy a low intro rate on their interest-only home equity line of credit. Use your savings to make home improvements, finance higher education, take a trip, and more. Newmark Credit Union has options for you, so call them at 815-729-3211 or visit newmarkcu.org to learn more. That's newmarkcu.org, equal housing opportunity. Lender, Newmark Credit Union, where you our family. Harry, what's going on, man? What's new in your world? Anything exciting? Uh, nothing really. Uh, just uh, super busy with mortgages, both refinances and purchases. It seems like the market's really, really taken off. Uh, um, the housing market, it's really a seller's market. There's just not enough inventory. And I think like five, six years ago when when we were, we were talking about the same thing, we were talking about uh, too much inventory being out there and now there's not enough. So it's funny how the, the market moves in these crazy cycles. So, but uh, we, we've never been busier. Yeah, it, it is, it is madness. And I don't see it ending anytime soon. I really, really don't. Jerry Sarich is here. He's the owner of accurate home inspections of Illinois. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Scott. How are you? Good. Welcome back to the program, buddy. I haven't talked to you in a while. Everything good in the home inspection business world as well. Yeah, things are crazy. I agree with Harry. This is a, a crazy time for uh, buying and selling homes, without a doubt. Oh, it is. It really, really is. All right, so, Harry, we're going to get into maintenance and project tips. But before we do that, tell everybody what you do at Newmark on a daily basis and how you can help them. Well, I, I my title is uh, the VP of Mortgage Lending, but it seems like I wear so many hats. I do everything over here, it seems like. <laughs> <laughs> the credit unions try to keep us down, so it uh, like I I feel like I I wear probably seven or eight different hats, which is probably very common in in very like small community banks and and definitely the credit union world. So I'm not alone. Uh, um, I have plenty of staff that also wear uh, several different hats. So um, it's uh, keeps us, it definitely keeps us busy, um, and it's a uh, it's a great experience. It's a lot of fun. So. All right, Jerry, what about you? Tell us a little bit about uh, Accurate Home Inspection of Illinois and your role at Newmark. Oh God, um, I love Newmark. Um, thanks to Harry, he invited me many many years ago to do uh, uh, first time home buyers. Uh, seminar, which uh, when it's been going on for years and years until, of course, COVID. Um, that's fantastic. But uh, as far as what, what I'm doing, uh, we're, of course, inspecting buildings, residential and commercial buildings. Um, and uh, it's, it, I love it. Uh, it it's something that, uh, that I, uh, I like every day. When I go to my job, it's not like having a job. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's not a job. <laughs> That's awesome. That, that's 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 good when you're not working for a living, that's for sure. All right, so, Jerry, we're learning tips on home maintenance and contracting. What are things to consider when starting a project? Uh, one of the main things is do you have all the material that you need? Do you have a list of what uh, what you needed and as you purchased that? Because in, in the middle of a project, the last thing you want to do is pick up and go get more materials. Um, so that's really important. Yeah, 
Absolutely. It's very, very important. And, and Jerry, kind of get into some detail, if you would, here, what a home maintenance inspection looks like. Well, home maintenance inspection is, is kind of like part of a, an actual home inspection because we're going over, um, especially with first-time home buyers, um, I like to take time with them. Um, they're not sure on what's going on, what to do. A lot of the young crowd um, are into uh, you know computers and that kind of thing, and, and a lot of them are into the construction end of it, um, which is fine. We need people in every uh, aspect of life. Um, but a home maintenance is basically uh, we're going to go through the house uh, just like we would for an inspection. Um, and caulk around windows is a huge thing. Caulk around doors, weather stripping, that kind of thing. That's a maintenance thing, um, which is important. One of the huge things that I see just about every single day is people forget to change their furnace filter. Um, that causes a lot of problems. It causes your furnace uh, to overwork, overwork uh, itself. And it could cause uh, eventually other problems with the motor and, and things of that nature. Um, so, guys, everybody, please check your furnaces, uh, filters. There are so many furnaces out there that uh, do not have filters or the filter is so clogged and dirty that uh, it's very difficult for the furnace to do its job. Right. Harry, when you're dealing with home inspections from your standpoint, why is it important to find somebody who's really, really good? You know, like if if uh, a, a home is is basically your your main investment, you know what I mean? Um, it's a huge huge investment, and I wouldn't want to go through like like for the amount that um, a home inspection costs anywhere from three. I I think Jerry charges anywhere from three fifty to five hundred, depending on the size of the building, but. For it's relatively inexpensive for what you get. It's it's good to have an expert just check out things. You can you can find all sorts of things uh, looking at um, if you if you, if you're buying a, a two three four hundred thousand dollar home, you can uh, have that expert just check it, check out everything just to make sure everything's uh, um, what you want it. There's some stuff that you're not going to be able to see like mold. Uh, that's uh, that's a big deal. Like uh, mold between the walls, or there could be uh, there could be. Um, um, we just ran across an issue where there was a stream running uh, um, uh, underneath the house, so the sump pumps were going twenty four seven, and that's a recipe for disaster because if the sump pumps running that long, if uh, if one of them gives out, you know your basement starts flooding. Uh, you, you get foundation issues too so um i think it's uh it's it's relatively inexpensive for what you get so i would i would definitely get a home inspection and sometimes like it like i i never order the appraisal and start, start moving on anything until we we do a home inspection and some some first time home buyers will say no my uncle's going to do it or my grandpa's going to do it uh, if they're not experts i would i would call them against that you always want to have a good expert <laughs> Um, check out stuff, especially, you know, if you're a first time home buyer, there's going to be a whole bunch of spaces anyway. Right. You don't want like extra, yeah. uh, extra stress on top of that. So. Right. Um, right. And I, you know, and I hear a lot of people want to call in, they, they want to know how much right away. The first question is how much um, would, if you're spending two or three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars house, do you want to bargain shop for an inspector? Yeah. You want somebody who's qualified. It's got, you know, tons of years behind them. I've been in business since 2006, so going on 15 years. So um, I've seen a lot, um, especially during those those foreclosure years. It was crazy. Jerry, what are some of the things you're looking for specifically that are very common mistakes? Um, you know what's uh, another common mistake is people have their uh, bathrooms venting into the attic, uh, usually an upstairs bathroom. Um, they're supposed to be venting outside. They're not supposed to be venting into the attic. And what happens, is, especially in the wintertime, is uh, somebody's taking a shower in that bathroom, they turn on the exhaust fan with warm, moist air, and we're pu pumping it up into a cold, cold attic. Um, that's a result, a recipe for disaster right there. Um, I see so much going on in the attics just because of that, and it could be extremely costly. If uh, that happens for years and year, a couple of years, you're going to get mold up in that attic, and now it's going to cost thousands and thousands of dollars to uh, meet, remediate that. 
So it's important. Another important thing that uh, I see every day. Uh, All right. We're talking today with Harry Stewart, vice president of mortgage lending and Jerry Sarich, owner of accurate home inspections of Illinois. This is money talks brought to you by Newmark credit union. Uh, Jerry, the importance of having each stage of your renovation checked by your inspector. Now, that's something I really didn't think of. Kind of walk us through that, please. Yeah, um, that's something uh, we do for for people um, that we've already did an inspection for. For example, I just did one here in Joliet, and uh, they purchased the home uh, knowing what was going on with it. But then uh, what they wanted to do is renovate. So they called me and asked me, can you come back and – and take a look and see if we could remove this wall or something to that effect. Uh, so that's uh, that's something that we do. But um, new construction, we do a lot of new construction uh, as well. Um, there's a lot of things in walls that you can't see when the home is already built. So if you're uh, an inspector and you have the ability to go over to the building during the course of the building, um, that just gives you the upper hand as an inspector because you can see everything uh, before it's been closed up. All right, that makes good sense. Makes very, very good sense. Okay, um, let's do this question here. What should someone do, Jerry, if they fail an inspection? What are the steps to get us to where we are up to code? Well, and that's a a funny question because you can't uh, fail an inspection. This is the the inspection is just an information uh, uh, game for you. You know. People use the inspection report um, to, you know, knock down a price of a house because it needs a roof. You know, that's, you know, ten grand or whatever, or it needs this, it needs it needs a furnace. Um, your uncle Tom doesn't have an, a license with the state of Illinois, so whatever Uncle Tom says doesn't really matter in, in the in the court system or in the law of purchasing a home. Um, so you can have ten Uncle Toms, and it and they wouldn't make a difference to someone selling the house, or especially an attorney because. It, Attorney is going to ask him, "Hey, does he have a license?" And if it's no, well, his word doesn't mean anything. Yeah. All right. So, in, in order, in other words, go with somebody who's licensed and is a professional. Yes, absolutely. Uh, go with somebody who's got experience. That's the the key here is experience because there's so many different things. There's so many different houses uh, and commercial buildings, and the older ones are. You know, uh, actually, my specialty, I love the older homes without a doubt, but uh, those ones are tough sometimes. Tough. Yeah. Harry, have you ever sat down at a closing or anything like that and just had a bad inspection report and you weren't able to go ahead and close? You know, um, I, I've, I've been at closings where the walkthrough didn't go. Uh, like a walkthrough happens usually within 24 hours of uh, the closing, and I've I've been to closings or or received calls from closings where the walkthrough didn't didn't go according to plan, and uh, we wouldn't we weren't able to close. But uh, prior to all that happening, we've gotten inspection reports back, and uh, you know if some if somebody's spending that kind of money on a house, uh, their main investment, and something something negative happens, like Jerry finds something, you know, hey, I found mold, you know, like uh, the the buyer have the opportunity to ask the sellers to to correct whatever issues those are and in some cases the buyers will say hey you know it's just too much we we don't want to move forward you know right. um and other times it'll, it'll be like hey we want something from the seller when we either want the seller to repair this or give us something so uh, a lot of times it, it's used as a negotiating tool and to your point earlier when you were talking about uh, a failed inspection some some uh, some municipalities they'll also do their own separate inspection uh, and they'll they'll have certain criteria that they have to hit so in that respect um, some some of those inspectors for uh, the villages or the cities they could they could fail an inspection, but that's a little bit separate than uh, the inspection that the buyers hire uh, to make sure that the home's in working order the way right. they, that it's presented. So, all right, Jerry, if people need to get a hold of you, how can they do that? Give us a call at eight one five two six zero one seven two seven. Or go to our website, accuratehomeinspectionofillinois.com, and we have a uh, uh, inspection report up there, a uh, sample that you can take a look at. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call. Hey, Jerry, how long have you had this uh, accurate home inspection? 
Uh, 2006, we started. 2006, that's a long time. You've seen everything. You've seen uh, the market explode, the market go away, and now the market explode again. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's <laughs> a roller coaster, without a doubt. You got it. All right, Harry, how can Newmark help their members with a home renovation? What do you guys got for us? You know what? We we have all sorts of different programs. I would say the most common one is a cash-out refinance, especially with the rates being relatively or historically low. Um, but we also offer a home equity lines that we could help with renovations if their first mortgage is already at a, at a pretty low rate. But uh, the best thing to do is either go to our website, uh, www.newmarkcu.org, and then uh, just apply online, go to Mortgage Loan Apply, and we'll have a loan officer work up one of their applications real quick. Or they could call me directly. Uh, my direct line is 815-744-6767. All right, and, dig uh, it. We'll, we'll help them get started. Good stuff. Gentlemen, as always, thank you very much. Jerry Sarage from Acro Home Inspection of Illinois and Harry Stewart, Vice President of Mortgage Lending. Harry, I'm going to need a little shovel over here, so bring a shovel over and you're back and uh, help me shovel out of this Thanks stuff. Thanks for today. the invite. Yeah, thanks you, for the invite, Scott. Yeah, but you're busy probably, right, Jerry? Thanks. <laughs> uh, thanks, guys. Have a great day. Uh, All yeah, right, so I'm here so, is your chance now. Thank you. Win a twenty-five dollar Visa sure. gift card. When did accurate home inspections of Illinois start? I just asked Jerry the question two minutes ago. When did it start? 815-254-7300. First correct caller on the Turk Furniture Studio line will win a twenty-five dollar Visa gift card. Compliments of Newmark Credit Union. Again, 815-254-7300. What year did he start his business? Hi, good morning. You're on WJOL. Who am I speaking to? Dan. Hi, Dan. What is the correct answer? 2006. Dan, you are exactly right. Well done, my friend. Well, thank you. $25 is waiting for you. You can walk in with a mask on or drive through anytime after noon today. Please take your driver's license to let them know who you are. You are the winner, Mr. Dan, so congratulations. Thank you, Scott. All right. Have a great day, Dan. All right. Take care of yourself. I do have your last name, too, on caller ID, so we're all good. Okay. Going to wrap things up for another edition of Money Talks, brought to you by Newmark Credit Union. Thanks to, once again, our friends Jerry and Harry from Newmark Credit Union and Accurate Home Inspections of Illinois. We also want to remind you that Newmark is allowing you to dream bigger during their home improvement sale for a limited time. Enjoy low intro rate on their interest-only home equity line of credit. Find out more by going to 815-729-3211. That's newmarkcu.org.